Welcome to Rick's Corner. I was shooting a video for Old School Labs yesterday talking about how things were back in the day and how they are now, we call it then and now, and how things have changed in the world, in bodybuilding especially. Thinking back, and a lot of you young guys won't know this, but many of you older guys will, the things that have changed over the years, uh, this is just a small list that I have, but let's go back to telephones. First they were the crank phones, then they were the dial-ups, you know, you had the rotary dial, then they had the push button, we had uh, uh, pay phones that no one uses anymore because you have cell phones. So those phones have really evolved through the years. Technology has really increased. Being able to shoot this show on my computer at home, do my own editing, is completely different than it was years ago. Clothing styles have changed immensely. However, clothing styles come back around 360. I don't think phones ever will because technology is, is advanced so much you don't want to go back to a uh, rotary dial phone. Uh, doctors back when I was a kid made house calls. I asked my dad once before he passed away, what did that doctor charge you to come out and give me a shot of penicillin for the flu? He says three dollars. Three dollars for a house call from a doctor. And if he went to the office, um, I don't even know if they had insurance back then, it was a cash deal. Doctors today take insurance and some don't and some people can't even afford them because they're so high priced. Big difference from back when, when I was a kid. Uh, engines. I had 50s cars that you could actually take the engine apart, change transmissions, use a wrench, fix it up, and then run it again, get out and drive it. Today's engines you can't even touch. They're all computerized, they're advanced with vacuums and all types of technology which are far better I guess because of what they can do, but much harder to work on. It's just not the same. Mechanics back in the day used wrenches. If you looked at a mechanic's arms back in the day when he was using wrenches all day, they had magnificent huge forearms full of veins. Why? Because they used their arms every day. Now today they have machines that put cars together and parts, all power tools. They don't use their arms like they used to. Old school wrestling. When I started in 1965, uh, it was totally different. You had guys like Freddie Blassie and Mr. Moto and John Tolis and all these guys and, and Bruno San Martino. The wrestling was slower, but it was more direct and it was more believable. You weren't sure what was going on out there because it was so believable and the storylines were fantastic. Most of them back in the day were shot in black and white around the country. They came on every night or on the weekends, ringside interviews. They brought you in and made you feel like you were part of it. Over the years, it's evolved and changed into what it is today, WWE, which is huge, and they do a great job, but it's not what it was. It's all marketing nowadays, and half the time you don't even know what's going on in the ring, and all the guys are bodybuilders. Bodybuilding back then, in the old school days, like with Steve Reeves and on from that, and Reg Park and Arnold and all of us guys in the 70s, was a lot different, as you know. The gym was basic. Joe Gold made all the equipment. It worked great. We did basic routines, there was no mystery. Three or four exercises per body part, three or four sets each, and we ate well and we trained hard. And there was no getting around it. There was no slacking in the gym if you wanted to really make gains. And if you watch Pumping Iron, you'll see that. I was there when they did Pumping Iron. I was wrestling at night. I wasn't competing for the Olympia, so I wasn't in it, and plus I went on tour wrestling, so I wasn't there the whole time they were shooting. But that's a good indication of what it was like back in the 70s, old school bodybuilding. And then today's gyms are very, very advanced with all kinds of machines and bodybuilders look totally different than they used to. They're 300 pounds and huge and big bellies and everything else. It's, it's a completely different thing. However, it's kind of falling back into what it was years ago. They want the old style 70s uh, aesthetic looking bodies nowadays with the small waist. Because bodybuilding back then was based on white shoulders and a small waist. The V taper, they call it the V taper. And your lats, you know, they call them wings. That was their terminology for lats back then. And it was a good look. You know, you saw a guy in a pair of slacks and a shirt, you could see those broad shoulders and small waist, you knew he was in great shape. You see the guys today dressed and they look like elephants walking around. Yes, they're huge and strided, but they're so big, it's not a pleasing look. Now, all these things that have changed on my list that I just gave you, there's a whole lot more I didn't do have all changed. They've all evolved and they've all been different and they all react different today. The only thing that hasn't changed is the body. The human body is the same today as it was 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 500 years. It's still the same organs, the heart, the lungs, the stomach and all that. Same thing. Same digestive process. The skin is the same. Nothing has changed. What has changed is the way we exercise it 
and the way we eat. And that's the only thing that's changed because that will determine what our body looks like. Back in the old school days, it was high protein, low carb, and train hard. There was no cardio except maybe running and running on the beach, which some guys did, and it was good. It's a fresh air, it made you feel good. But it was a lifestyle that we all loved, and it wasn't about getting big and showing off, it was about staying in good shape and feeling good. And sun tanning itself was the sun from the sky. It wasn't tanning machines or tanning beds or sprays. It was that glow that you would get from the sun and the ocean, the salt water and the sand that was magnifying and magnificent. It's just like a feeling you could never get anywhere else in the world. Santa Monica Beach, Venice Beach, the only place to be. Today, everything is sprayed on, it's done with sponges, everybody has orange-brown skin in a contest, their whites, their eyes are too white, <laughs> their wrinkles are too white, and it just looks ridiculous. But like I say, the body hasn't changed. We still train the same way. Supplements today are a little more advanced. I don't know how good they are. Some are good, some we need, some we don't need. We ate basic food back in the day and we had no supplements except so some proteins that weren't really that great. We just basically went back to tuna cans all the time. So I'm trying to say that things have evolved and things have changed and everything changes with time. We all do, we all get older, our bodies change, but the basic body internally doesn't change. Everything works the same way. Not like the car that we computerized and made into something, not like the cell phones that we took from rotary dials and made, uh, you know, uh, press button phones or, or Siri, we can talk to it. That, that's changed, of course, the auto cars have changed. It's all changed, but the bodies are the same. So my point is, if you want to look good and you want to be big and you want to be in shape, you basically just have to train hard and eat right. There's no question about it. And you have to motivate yourself to do it. Back in those days, we were motivated to get up and go to the gym. I couldn't wait to get to the gym in the morning. I could not wait to start working out. And all my friends were the same way. We all were together. We had camaraderie. We trained together. We spotted each other. We went on commercial auditions together. We did movies together. We went out on the weekends and hung out. It was awesome. And today, everybody pulls apart because you have cell phones in the gym. Many of the people are sitting on the machine on their phone texting. They've got headsets on. They don't want to be talked to. They close up. And that's changed a lot. I'm hoping that someday it'll go back the way it was. Joe Gold didn't allow music in the gym. And there, of course, there were no water bottles and there were no phones. So we talked to each other and we trained with each other and we talked about our training. So I just want to bring those little points across because um, it's something that gets lost in time, and you show uh, someone 20 years old today a dial-up phone with a rotary dial, they don't know what it is. Um, pay phones you don't even see anymore. They're just obsolete. I have one in my backyard as a joke. And um, it's just not the way it was. But our bodies are the same inside, and like I say, you eat right and you'll get good progress. There's no secret to it at all. So that's Rick's Corner. I wanted to talk about that a little bit. I thought you'd find it interesting because it is. And it's not just bodybuilding, but it's all the things I had mentioned and probably a whole lot more. Thank you guys for watching Rick's Corner, and I will see you next time. It's RickDrayson.com. He is the equalizer, baby. See you next time.